Roll forward to 2050. I see a site with robotics. I see a site with remote devices. I see the ability for labour and workforce to be sat behind desks operating these machinery kits. I see the improvement in safety regulations as a result of this. But I also see the importance of being able to capture data, for Gen AI to be looking at contracts, to be reviewing it on a real-time basis, and also for those behind the contracts and reviewing them and the delivery of those contracts to have the ability to make changes at the touch of a button. I think the sites in 2050 will be incredibly different to how they are today. And this takes for the companies, the businesses, the supply chain and every stakeholder in there to invest in this change. Businesses in the construction industry, when they look forward to 2050 sites, need to be thinking about how they utilise their knowledge, their data and their technology today. How do they take those next steps and plan strategically? But also, they need to embrace the efficiencies that can be created as a result of this technology. This is an evolution. It's not a revolution. It's going to take many decades to get to what we're seeing now and expecting at 2050. However, very small steps around reading data, managing data and reporting on data and having that as a learning process will help the industry. Also robotics, we look at manufacturing, we look at aerospace. There is a huge opportunity here for the industry to learn from other industries. There's a fantastic opportunity for the UK construction industry to really look globally, to understand across Europe, the Middle East and the US on how these projects are delivered, how assets are maintained, and really the future of innovation. We see across Europe, new materials being produced. We see modular and modern methods of construction ahead of the UK. And then we look to the US and we see large scale projects being delivered far more efficiently, being mobilized and procured in a better way. For us, I think this is a real learning curve.